this is Jody from Alpaca Direct and I'm here today to show you a, two different types of casts on as well as show you one of our premier staples of Alpaca Direct here which is the Cascade 220 and the reason why it's called 220 is because it has 220 yards in it. It's a super wash wool that allows you to go ahead and knit up those socks or sweater and not worry about it felting or shrinking in the washing machine. Yet at the same time I would always take gentle care of my hand knitted um, items. I would always wash them pretty much by hand but you're not going to fear the felting or the shrinkage. What I'm going to go ahead and show you now is the long tail cast on and this is my worsted weight again the 220. I'm going to come out oh about for this about 20 uh, for 20 stitches I'm going to come out about oh half a yard and this is part of my long tail. If it was more than 20 or 60 or 80, you're gonna to have to go a little farther out. You're gonna go ahead and drape it over your thumb and your forefinger in your left hand, like so, and hold it into this nice little triangle shape. You're gonna take your needle, at this point you're just gonna use one, and you're gonna come down in the middle of your triangle, and now watch, I'm gonna grab what's under here, my left, again my left and then come on over now see how I twisted my hand and my right and now back through my left and now I have two stitches cast on let me repeat that one more time for you so you're not frustrated that's the hardest part is that first step then after that it's much easier triangle down there's like a heart left for me right and then back through the loop on the left and there is the first two stitches and you want to be pretty consistent you want it so that it can kind of slip on your needle a little bit don't want to be too tight now here comes the easier part all you're going to do is back to that heart again see the heart shape keeping my fiber my my um, string down and it's left right and pull through and pull my tension left right Pull my tension. Again, you want it to be pretty consistent along in here. Left, right, and pull. Now what I do is when I'm doing this, I count by twos. I get kind of going. There's my counting by twos, my multiples. And I highly recommend casting on in a quiet area where you don't have kids or people interrupting you because you will have to start all over again if you're completely off. Or just recount. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you just want to keep a good head count. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tear all this out. Yes, you're going to say, oh, all that work. Easily pulled out. And I'm going to do a very, very simple cast on. Sometimes I will do this in the middle of my work where I have to add on some stitches or so. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you a slip knot. Two fingers wrapped around. I put it right in between here and pull the tail through. There's my slip knot. And you do this a lot in crochet. So now you know how to do one. And all this E cast on, E for easy, is you take it around your finger and pull down. Take it around your finger and pull down. Again, you're using your left hand, right hand holds your needle and pull down. Unless, of course, you're ambidextrous and you can do it the other way or if you're left handed. And pull down and pull down. Now you're wondering, how do I get the needle in there? Let me show you real quick. You're going to come along with your second needle and you're putting it right in the very front of the stitch. You're going to go front to back for knitting, wrap it around, pull it through, and then take it off. And there's your first knit stitch. Now you see this little gap in here? That gap kind of happens when you do the E um, cast on. You don't really get that gap with the long tail. Make sure you go in the front, wrap it around, pull it through, and out. Once again, in the front to the back, wrap it around. You see I wrapped it around the back. Pull it to the front, and then hop off. Front, around, back, and hop off. And you just keep going. And watch my next video, and I'll show you how to knit.